Welcome back to Boiler House Garage and to part five of our video series testing super unleaded petrol for their octane. Uh, sorry it's been a while since I've uh, done any of these videos apart from some uh, mileage tests as uh, unfortunately sort of personal circumstances and admittedly a, a little bit of lethargy sort of halted my uh, progress on, on the video series but uh, just by chance I uh, got to finish work an hour early by uh, dropping somebody off in, in Abingdon so uh, there's a Tesco garage here and it's been quite a popular request to uh, test their uh, what's it called uh, momentum um, because the issue I have is my local uh, Tesco's um, actually use SO fuel so uh, the uh, I have to travel a little bit to uh, test momentum I have tested it before for ethanol content and it turned out to be completely ethanol free uh, but I didn't have the octane tester at the time and uh, as I do now I've, I've basically got a sample but I, I run into a bit of an issue the uh, Abingdon Tesco uh, I, I can't really rate because basically they've, I'll show you a video in a minute and basically I'm I'm sat filming this in my car rather than by their uh, in the four courts of the garages that I have been doing uh, previously uh, basically because um, yeah they've shut off half the forecourt and uh, the jet wash uh, and even the little shop they've got is is closed I was uh, I was queuing up basically to ask uh, if I could buy a, a jerry can because uh, I, it, it, this was like a surprise drop on me I didn't bring one of my mini jerry cans and that so I was willing to buy another jerry can to uh, get a sample of the fuel um, but the lady behind the counter she was rude to the guy in front of me he was basically asking he'd, he'd bought like over a hundred pounds of fuel he didn't realize and his card's got a 99 pound limit so he just asked can they please break the payment to do like 99 pounds and then whatever the balance was of the rest and the the um pakistani lady behind the counter very rudely was uh, saying no no we, we can only do it as one payment uh, and of course yeah giving him no option to pay um i would digress uh, and then of course when I went to the counter I said oh it's your shop open I was just wondering if I could please buy a, a, a jerry can because the uh, or a petrol can I should call it the um, the, there were some in the shop it's just that they've they, for some reason locked the door and just closed access to the shop and uh, she was very rude as well she didn't say oh no sorry it says yeah it's closed or whatever and then uh, like, oh cheers then and uh, uh, but of course it is next to a Tesco uh, a large uh, Tesco which I'm uh, a Tesco Extra as well, so it's quite a large one with uh, homewares, uh, and there was a car care uh, bit as well, so you've got plenty of engine oils and stuff to wash your car, but no bloody jerry can. So uh, what I did is I ended up buying, which you're not supposed to do, is uh, I ended up getting this litre water bottle uh, from Tesco, and uh, but what I had to do is, so I wasn't stood there with this bottle ready, I had to uh, basically go up, I used the uh, uh, pay-by card at the pump, uh, which I normally don't like doing, um, and filled, uh, filled the ST up, uh, the, I had about a quarter of a tank worth of space to uh, put some in. Um, yeah, and then quickly just snuck this uh, water bottle out and filled that up. It is, is brand new. I, I did actually have a water bottle in the car, but I've still got like, there's still traces of water in there and I didn't want it to affect the result. But I thought I'll get out of there fairly quick and that just in case, uh, yeah, they saw on camera or something and had a go. But uh, yeah, seemed a little ironic because there's a massive sign up and that on the door of the shop saying, "Oh, please note if you're filling up uh, petrol cans, please make sure that they're uh, suitable and that you're doing it safely." Blah blah blah. And then they won't let me buy a jerry can. Uh, but also rude about it, and that's with the forecourt half closed as it is. And I'll, I'll drive. I've got to drive past it again anyway to get out of here. But. Uh, but I have at least got a sample now, so uh, yeah, when I when I get back, we can do a, a proper octane test on it and uh, see how that compares to the uh, few few fuels that we've tested already. Uh, just a little bit of an update as well. I did um, I uh, so I mainly use Shell V power. I've been doing regular octane tests on that, and it's it's always sort of consistent. A uh, hundred plus. It's uh, hundred and one was the last. Uh, when I checked, I did even keep a. I, I'm trying to see how long it will last to stay volatile. Octane, I don't think alters uh, unless the fuel goes particularly bad, and then you just get a, a bad reading instead. Uh, but yeah, I've got a, a year-old sample of a Shell V Power, which I did an octane test, and that still says 101. Um, and it would, would be nice to sort of continue the series. Uh, I do, I do want to get some more uh, Tesco. 
Um, it's obviously one of a few supermarket fuels. I know a lot of people do like using supermarket fuels because they're a little bit cheaper, but uh, normally you get what you get what you pay for. I, I use Shell V Power for a reason, and if you don't want to spend that much money or you do do a lot of commuting, sometimes it's worth uh, you know, trying to find a, a good fuel that's a little bit cheaper. I know Sainsbury's also do a, a high octane as well. Now, Asda don't. Asda just tend to buy. Uh, uh, petrols that have actually failed their quality uh, control uh, so you can end up with like some slightly substandard uh, shell fuel and uh, it would have to have ethanol in it uh, five percent of the e10 because they only supply e10 and um, most of the e10s i've tested i'm not sure if this is a sort of a, a, a now an industry minimum that the e10s must have at least five percent in uh, but everyone i've tested so far uh, if i recall correctly of the uh, 95, the uh, cheaper one, the 95 octane fuels uh, have got 5% um, ethanol or more. Uh, but yeah, most of the super unleaded still in this area, thankfully, are, are ethanol free. Uh, anyway, uh, I'll drive past this uh, Tesco so you can take a quick look and then um, I'll uh, catch up with you a bit later when we can uh, do, the, do the octane test. So we're back with our sample of Tesco Momentum 99 at the Boiler House Garage Temporary Fuel Testing Facility, uh, namely my late granddad's garage uh, with permission from my nan. So this fuel is supposed to be 99 octane uh, or above of course, uh, much like Shell V Power which uh, is advertised at uh, 99 plus and I've taken measurements of 100 uh, to 101 at RON. Uh, I've now managed to get the tester to uh, read in, in RON which is a uh, regional octane number because uh, previously it was in AKI so I do have to sort of revisit a couple of the samples I've done previously. So let's get some in a test tube just to make it consistent with the previous tests. Oh. Makes it easier to dispense. Be it a little slow. Come on. That's a lot higher than I expected. What I will do is test the um, uh, test the petrol for ethanol in case it is given a high reading. Uh, if it does turn out to be a, a fuel blend, then obviously it, it ruins the whole experiment. But uh, I'll also show you, as I mentioned earlier, the uh, this being tested in an old sample of uh, Shell V power that I've got. It is still measuring a consistent 101 uh, RON. So. Right, so the ethanol test, what we're going to do here is I have 350 millilitres of Tesco Momentum in this test tube. I'm going to fill it to the 500 millilitre mark with 150 millilitres of water. That will pass through the fuel, go to the bottom, and then if there is ethanol present, that will be drawn out into the water and we'll see a figure higher than 150, which we can then work out the percentage of ethanol, if any. Just give that a five minute wait like I have done in the previous tests. 
If you haven't seen the previous videos, then uh, please do check them out because you may be uh, suggesting things that are leaving it overnight or shaking it up uh, vigorously for a while. Uh, basically, I've done uh, control tests and tried these methods, and basically, it doesn't make. Uh, if you use this pour free method, it's slightly different if you're trying to extract ethanol from a uh, you know a massive containers worth of fuel and then uh, that might be a different story but when you're just passing the water through a test tube it pulls it actually the water will go through the petrol and pull the ethanol out with it so the results happen uh, pretty quickly but yeah um what i can tell from now anyway is that uh, i did go slightly over um uh, the 150 because i uh, i've only got this measuring tube to uh, dispense it but um yeah, it, I, I've done this long enough now. It, it is actually a, a, it does actually appear to be ethanol free, but like I say, we will just give it five minutes just to uh, settle and then know for certain. So five minutes have passed. Uh, there's no change to it at all. This is definitely an ethanol free petrol. As a further as a further demonstration, if this did even have a small amount of ethanol in that, I've perhaps uh, perhaps missed by having this. Uh, a lower quantity uh, test tubes. I usually use a, a one litre uh, measuring cylinder. Um, the uh, tester would obviously read a lower result because the ethanol gives an artificially high reading, uh, which uh, isn't indicative of its octane. It's just because the ethanol uh, affects the result. So we put this. So yep, it does appear that uh, Tesco Momentum is actually a uh, high, oct high octane fuel. It's certainly over. 99 as it's uh, advertised to be. Uh, I'll, I'm just going to do a final demonstration of the uh, fuel tester in the old shell fuel, so I'll be back with you in just a second. Oh, 102 that time. 101 again. Yeah, so as we saw there, this reader could be uh, a little inaccurate to, a, I don't know, a single octane digit or perhaps two. Um, so we've seen it sort of fluctuate uh, on the previous videos for Shell V power from 100. And let's say the same sample I tested later, it, sh it showed uh, between 100 and 101. Uh, and this time we even got a, a slightly higher reading of 102. It is quite possible, obviously, the momentum uh, is not quite 106 ROM, but at least it gives us an idea that it is still at least uh, 99. So that's the sort of best we can take away from this. So if any luck, I can get some more supermarket fuel samples soon and take a look at maybe the Sainsbury's next. And I've also got a revisit SO as the sample I got on that was obviously an AKI and it, it even converted to RON it was a little bit low so just in the interest of fairness and consistency uh, we, we will have to do a retest there anyway thanks so much for watching and uh, please like and subscribe uh, if you haven't already and uh, thank you very much for watching see you in the next one or it could be Red Bull